ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Vault of Time guide video. Just want to go over the strategy I've been using to uh, get through the mid game and how I took over my first village. So, I did have my Dura Sustenance maxed out at level 3, and I did have my Dura um, Celerity. <laughs> I'm probably saying this stuff all wrong. I always say everything wrong. I had the celerity at level 2, and I don't remember how many relics I had. But the strength, the total strength, was enough to get me to almost 30k. And some of the teams were probably slightly over 30k. It did require 3 attacks for my first level 2 town. I highly recommend you look for towns that do not have... Of course, Mahira. Stay away from her. She's a mean lady. Um, stay away from uh, Thorin, the Fallen King. He, it, it's just no good. If you don't, if he doesn't slay you from slashing you and making your damage slay yourself, your time will run out. I mean, this one's pretty good. I don't like, I don't like Nara very much. But stay away from Rigby as well. And also, Namora is a problem early on. She's not a problem now. But she was. That heal was horrible. Lucius' heal is horrible. So there are a few things to stay away from. But number one is Thorin, Rigby, and Mahira. If you find a battle without those, it usually, if you're close to 30k, you have a pretty good shot at victory. But just know you may have to use all three teams. I'm going to show you two teams that are pretty free-to-play friendly. This is my favorite team by far. It wasn't always, but the damage from uh, Verk is getting stupid good. I shouldn't have put him right there, though. That was just horrible. I don't even know if his ult's going to do all that well. Yeah, this was a horrible formation, so we might even get on now. Oopsie. It's very important when farming these, we do not want to lose a troop, because then we're missing out on two stamina. Come on. Wow, he's a beast. Look at all that damage he's taking. He's been punched through the sleep. Now we're actually going to have to reset. Yeah. That was a horrible formation. Fail video. Fail mode. Um, this should work out a bit better. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> oh, man. Jeez. I mean, this is my favorite formation, but, yeah, we're getting wrecked again. Okay. I guess the first formation was a bit better. All right, on to my second best formation. We'll have to use this one on the second battle. This is a horrible guide video. <laughs> um, oddly enough, Rowan. Rowan is by far my best tank right now. I'm really surprised on that one. Right, here's another team that is pretty free-to-play friendly. Um, it normally gets the job done. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have much hope after my first team. That first team has been wrecking all day. And then I make this video and it's trash. I don't know. Maybe this combination is more threatening than I thought. Honestly, on the outside looking in, I thought it was going to be a layup. And we barely missed the third star. So this is a pretty good free-to-play friendly team. And uh, here we go with my my favorite team again. I'm scared now. Uh, oh man, I'm so scared. Don't let me down. <laughs> we had a good run. You were special. You meant a lot to me. Now you're letting me down. All right, this one's looking a bit better. Come on, Bert. Get it done, Bert.
Now yesterday I did the hardest thing I've done since this event has started. This is my personal opinion. I think this is going to maximize your effectiveness. Oh, one other tip before we go into that. All right, when you're farming your tier twos, when you first start out, make sure you have the cards to get the extra 20%. Let's see. Let's get another example. For example, as you just saw, we were all out of light bears. So we want to stay away from cities that are going to require light bears, although this is a uh, tier six. But before you just randomly take these cities, make sure you can get that extra 20%. You want to get that as much as possible. Hypothetically, if you were to max out and get the 20% from all the tier 2 villages, let's see, um, 30 of them would be 7,200. So you would top out at seven, at, sorry, at 8,400 points per hour, which is pretty awesome. So yesterday I did the hardest thing I've ever done. I think it is a very important strategy. Um, the moment you take your first tier two. I think it's very important to rush to 4,000 points an hour and then to stop attacking. It's gonna be rough, you're not gonna wanna wait. It took me um, 14 hours. <laughs> it was the hardest thing I had ever done. It was so slow at work, I could have attacked the entire time. But wait till you get max level three, which would be level four if you've ranked up of your artifacts and this is just going to allow you to farm earlier you're going to want to take all those tier fours because it's going to be a good increase but skip the tier fours don't mess with the tier fours i'm going to show you why right now if i can find them all right is there one that hasn't been taken so tier four pretty good 120 points per hour not bad at all. Um, if you look at it in a percentage, it is 50% more than tier 3. But they give rare drops, which rare drops are good. Some rare drops are worth like six, 7,000. Now, waiting and getting enough to get that tier 3, you'll have a good amount of stamina. When I started farming, I was at 70, 70 plus stamina, which... I did not know you could go over 60, so sorry, in my first guide, I was, I was wrong. <laughs> I said you would max out in 15 hours. I was completely wrong. So we were able to farm a lot of these, and the reason why you want to skip the tier 4 is the same reason why you're going to want to skip the tier 6. Elite drops. Elite drops can be worth as much as 20,000 of those coins. The 200 per hour is awesome. Um, but this, this is priceless. I'm going to try not to keep clicking the collection button before I make tomorrow's video. If we make it to that next boss. I may take um, the day off, but if we make it to that next boss, for sure I'm going to make a video on it. And when you collect and you see two to three of these items from these settlements, from all these twos, It is, it is crazy. We're talking like 60,000 possibly in those relics. And I bet when you have 35 of 35, who knows, maybe you'll get over 100,000 in those purple items. That is the same reason why I'm not going to mess with any of these, any of these tier 6s. We're going to skip those and go straight to the tier 7s. Where is that tier 7 at? Preferably ones where we have the right Ascended Hero. We do have an Ascended Brutus. Now, yes, this 280 an hour is going to be awesome. But that is nothing compared to these legendary items. I bet some of those drops are probably 50,000. That would just be an estimate. I have no idea. But I will be have some accurate information on that in an in-game guide. This went way over the amount of time I wanted it to process. It's going to take forever. Y'all have a great day.